I'm really sad right now. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at this. Look what I got from Ray Ocular. So, of course, I'd give anything to have my old eyes back, but I can't get them back. And I cry almost every single day because of this decision. It was the worst decision of my life. Brown versus blue eyes has always been somewhat of a silly debate. While both are beautiful in their own ways, there are sadly some people who believe that lighter eyes are elite. So much so, they would go out of their way to undergo surgery to change their eye color permanently. This is where bright ocular comes into play. Bright ocular is a procedure that permanently changes an individual's eye color via inserting a silicone implant over the iris. A relatively new procedure, the first bright ocular surgery was conducted just back in 1996. Before being introduced as a cosmetic procedure, it was initially manufactured to assist patients dealing with eye defects such as ocular albinism and heterochromia. The website claims that the procedure in itself is safe and quick, and if complications do arise, they are easily removable. The reality of this procedure is not that pretty. There are countless people online who are exposing the dark side of this seemingly simple procedure, which to this day is not approved in the US from the Food and Drug Administration, also known as the FDA. The FDA is responsible for ensuring and regulating that products that are exposed to the public are safe to use. The procedure is mainly conducted in third world countries in South America and Asia. In the following video, a patient named Perry discusses her terrifying experience with the bright ocular procedure that she underwent outside the US. After Perry essentially got her eye color altered, she gradually began to experience an uncomfortable rubbing sensation of the implant against her thin iris. In a desperate plight to remove the colored implant, she met with over 50 eye specialists across the United States, the majority who did not want to take her case because of the dangerous and complicated nature of resolving an already risky procedure. All of the professionals she met with emphasized that the eye color implant surgery is a very dangerous procedure. It was so bad, she opted to eventually remove the implant completely from both eyes. In the process, she ended up losing over 50% of her vision due to the eye color procedure. In addition to losing most of her vision, she fell victim to several other complications, including glaucoma, high eye pressure, and an entire chunk of her cornea had to be removed. She expects that for the remainder of her life, she will be on medications and experience residual eye complications because of this cosmetic procedure. The physical anguish is also accompanied by emotional distress, depression, and intense regret. The former bryocular patient claims that despite everyone telling her to not go through with this procedure because eyesight in itself is so precious, she ultimately decided to undergo the risky surgery because she wanted to be beautiful. And the Bright Ocular website even claimed that their procedure was about to be FDA approved in the US. Keywords about to be. Sadly, their misleading statements were enough to trick her, essentially, and many others into getting this risky procedure that can cause irreversible and long-lasting damage. How exactly does this implant murder the eyes? Because that's what, what it's basically doing. It's killing your eyes. So like into sandpaper, it slowly grinds the surface of the eye. Gradually, the pressure within the eye increases and has been described to feel similar to somebody squeezing and even stabbing the eyeball itself. This is exactly what another patient experienced, except in his case, he lost 100% of his vision in one eye. 
Appearing on The Doctor's Show back in 2009, Mark was actually on TV debating with a medically certified eye doctor from the United States who warned him that getting this procedure will undoubtedly cause complications including glaucoma, vision loss, and cornea damage. Despite the warnings, Mark partook in medical tourism and booked a trip to Panama just so that he can change his brown eyes to blue. In his own words, his natural brown eyes distressed him so much that he couldn't even look at himself in the mirror or go outside and do regular activities. Mark attested that while abroad and before the the actual procedure, he signed legal papers that he couldn't even understand because they were in a foreign language. Still, he wrote his signature because they, as in the business workers, I'm not going to call them medical professionals, told him it's okay that he didn't understand the papers, everything's going to be all good. In reality for Mark, everything turned out so bad. In the years after he had gotten the cosmetic procedure done, he started to get the hint that something wasn't quite right about this. Not only was his body physically rejecting the foreign substances known as the implants, he started to notice his vision going in and out over the years, but he banked on the vision resolving on its own. Of course, that was not a wise gamble, and he ultimately resorted to medical intervention once his one eye completely turned blind. Like Perry, he also ended up having to remove both of the implants at the risk of losing vision in the other eye as well. Luckily, the heroic ophthalmologist Dr. Kevin Asil along with his team, were able to successfully remove the dangerous implants and prevent Mark's other eye from turning completely blind like the other one did. Vision is truly a blessing. It's the only thing we have to actually see this amazing, rare, and unique existence, what we call life. At the price of their health, millions of people worldwide flock to different countries and different clinics to chase an image that even once obtained will not fill the void that they are actually experiencing. I'm not going to sit here and even argue why altering your appearance surgically is not worth it. The statistics speak for themselves. Mortality rates and the lifelong detrimental impacts are enough reason to not actually go through with synthetically changing your body. And if many medical professionals are telling you a procedure is dangerous, it's wise to not go through with that procedure. It's not worth your life to obtain beauty. And remember, beauty is really subjective. Yes, physical beauty matters, but ultimately, What's on the inside is going to either make or break you. And I'm speaking mentally and spiritually. It's no wonder that most people, have you noticed, who get cosmetic surgeries, they continue to get cosmetic surgeries because on the inside, they are broken. Their perception of themselves is very negative. um, And they believe that altering themselves will make people like them. Even the influencers who are out here today saying that they do these surgical procedures to make themselves happy. It's simply not true and quite frankly, it's BS. They do these surgeries because they feel the need to fix something about themselves in order to fit a standard that they think will make them accepted by people. Of course, it makes them feel good about themselves, but that feel-good sensation is only skin deep and truly isn't what's going to make them happy. Happiness really is derived from within, and I'm not even trying to sound all philosophical by saying that. I just want to end on a note saying that these procedures, and I'm speaking mainly of cosmetic procedures, even if the foreign substances that they insert are successfully removed, the intrinsic damage will prevail and persist most likely 
till one ceases and and i really just wanted to emphasize that like even even if um a medical professional is able to you know assist you in removing these implants or whatever um the long lasting uh, effects can be permanent um and they can you know obviously they'll decrease your quality of life and uh even with these two cases mark and perry so you could see that even though they got the intervention um and uh you know prevented or restored uh their health they're still going to you know face complications for the rest of their lives and so i just really want to say that cosmetic procedures are no joke and we need to really visualize and understand the gravity of what these procedures entail I hope you guys found this video informative and please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting content.